Coding. Made easy. So what's up everybody, this is Peter here coming to you with another C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. And this tutorial we are going to be learning about the extern keyword. So just from the name extern we can probably um, make out that it stands for external. And we've learned about global and local scope variables and you probably know that uh, global variables just aren't a good thing but sometimes they are needed and um, I say sometimes but um, try to avoid them as best as possible but sometimes it is a good thing to have uh, to have some global variables um, let's say for example we are making a game and we have the score right so we want to put the score in the main file but we want to pass the score to multiple different files how do we do so well, there's a keyword called the extern keyword, and, and it allows us to take a variable, a global variable, and we specify its type and specify its name, and it allows us to actually work with that variable, modify it, do whatever we want to do with it. Now, be aware that the variable itself is global, so multiple files can be working with that one variable which is kind of dangerous, but for something such as the score of a game or something, most times a lot of people won't be working with it at once, and if you handle your code properly, extern could be quite useful. Um, so what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial, we're just going to be creating, uh, creating a class, and we'll just call it class, um, nothing special, and um, all the class is going to do is uh, display the score. We'll, we'll have a change score and we'll set the int value and we'll display this score and all we're gonna do is we're going to just define them right here so um, change score and we have to set the score to something and then we have the display score and we'll just say the score score is equal to whatever the score is. Now we just need to include the IO stream. And uh sorry about that. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make uh let's just make use of our we're gonna say unsigned short and we're gonna say score. So we're gonna make use of the variable types that we've learned about in, um, I believe it was the last tutorial. And we're gonna set the score equal to 10. So it is a global unsigned short score. And uh, we'll just display the score. And we're going to make a class instance. Oh, sorry about that. We're, oh, sorry, we gotta include it first. And let's just get rid of this. And we'll say test class or something like that. And we'll say test class dot change score and we'll change it to 20. And we'll say test class dot display score and we'll display it again to let you know that it changes it everywhere. So we'll just type out the score. So now, how do we get how do we get this score, um, and we display it in this class? Well, all we have to do is type in extern. The type it is unsigned short and the name of the variable, right? Because it could be multiple un unsigned shorts, so we have to put in the the name of the variable. And I'm just going to put score in there. So it says, okay, somewhere in this, uh, somewhere in one of our in our files we are going to have an unsigned short called score and it is going to be global. We don't know where it is, we don't know what file has it, what at runtime we'll figure that out. So when we go right here, when we say change score, we're gonna say score is equal to the value and we're just gonna display the score right here. And this should show us the score that we have um, changed. And so what we're gonna do is um, we're going to run this program. Oh, forgot to put system pause, 
and if you guys aren't using Windows uh, you can use a system command that is native to your system or you can use system.std.sin.ignore so first of all we have 10 which is the original score then we have uh, change the scores so we said test class chain score so we change this to 20 and so we displayed the score and we displayed the original one from the main.cpp to see if it indeed did change and it did change so uh, the extern keyword is just basically used to get global variables that you'll probably need throughout the whole program scope um, and basically that's it so thanks for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe i hope you enjoyed this and bye for now